into force in 2005 and over the last decade has helped millions of citizens demand accountability from the government. As the RTI Act turns 10, we ask, will it survive and stay relevant? Shireen Bhan caught up with social activist Aruna Roy, one of the early crusaders for RTI and Global Krishna and Gopal Krishna Gandhi, former Bengal governor and a former diplomat. The verdict from both of them was unanimous. RTI is here to stay. The percentage of voters that turn out at elections is not uh, as uh, good as it can be or as it should be. That does not mean that the right to vote has become irrelevant. The right to information is a twin to the right to vote. It is an ingredient of our dem democracy and an essential part of our republic. It can only grow stronger and stronger. There will be disappointments with the nature and the pace of official responses, but there can be no going back. The RTI Act is here to stay. The RTI Act is here to stay, but uh, let's talk about the road ahead and how do we make this act much more robust when we talk about implementation and effective implementation. If I were to ask you, Mr. Gandhi, what is it that you would like to see now for effective implementation and use of the Right to Information Act? The most important thing would be for the RTI movement to retain its character as a movement and as a catalyst for further and further deepening and intensification of the provisions of the Act. And one of the things that need to be done very, very quickly is the, is the follow-up on uh, the appointment of the Lokpal, which has been languishing for a very, very long time and completely inexcusably, and the activation of the Whistleblowers Act and the Grievance Redressal Act. These are essential corollaries of the RTI Act, and the movement must continue to ask for it, and so should the media in the country and all concerned citizens. Mm -hmm. uh, Ms. Roy, if I could put to you one of the other comments that came in from Satyananda Mishra and he said that he worries about the lack of civil society enthusiasm for the RTI. He believes that civil society enthusiasm has declined, that activists like yourself perhaps uh, or others have moved on to other spheres uh, looking out for other uh, interests so to speak. Uh, do you believe that uh, this movement that Mr. Gandhi was talking about, how do we keep that movement alive? The movement is alive. We are not seen on television because we are not a priority. The print media doesn't report us because we are not a priority, because you have fashions. You have times when you think something is fashionable. We are there. We don't think it's fashionable. We are not there. And we're not in Delhi. We are spread out all over the country in small villages. Every day people are questioning authority. If those 8 million applications are put in, in every, every year, there's somebody or the other, every, every so many kilometers is questioning authority. If this is not keeping the movement alive, I don't know what is. And it's, it's an act which is being used and it's asking for, asking questions and demanding answers in so many multiple ways. And I think mm. we must stop thinking of the RTI as of itself. It is a transformatory act. 